painting with a purpose friends so this next painting that I'm gonna do um, is kind of we're doing a lot of wedding planning and things like that for my daughter um, who's getting married in a year so I wanted to do kind of a fun wedding um, painting so we're gonna have a background color I'm gonna use like a bluish teal you can use whatever color you want to purple you can use your background color maybe it's going to be the color of like one of the colors that you're using in your wedding um you will need black and white you will need a hair color so you're making the bride and groom um you can use like blonde if your bride is blonde or brown if your bride is brown so choose the hair color that fits your bride and groom and then you're going to need a skin tone i'm kind of working off of another plate that has a couple different colors on that we're not going to use so again a background color black and white hair color let's get started oh you're going to need your two inch flat brush your smaller flat brush and a small round pardon me i sneezed all right so this kind of teal and blue mixed together is going to be my background color and I may throw some more teal in there. So just paint. with your two inch brush so that can go in your water cup and we're gonna let this dry well guys I thought I was recording and I was not so I'm gonna talk you through the rest of his pants and then we'll go back and we'll do the outline of the dress and the jacket so his pants are just black careful not to get in his jacket or her dress. So, you're gonna wanna start with the white first with your medium round, or I'm sorry, your medium flat brush. And the shape of her dress is just kind of like an hourglass. So it kind of comes out at the top and goes back out at the bottom. And it really poofs out and then you're just going to want to fill that all in So do the white first, then the black. Now, for his jacket, it starts up just kind of like at the base of his neck. And it's just like a rectangle, like a little collar. And it curves down and there's one arm And then his jacket kind of comes down and out, kind of fans out a little bit. We made it fancy with a little point. Ah, I got into the black. And then same thing on the other side. So it just kind of curves down. There's a shoulder, part of, it, part of his arm, 
and then the rest of his jacket comes down. And so just fill those in with white. And then once you have his jacket finished, then you can do his pants. And those are just real simple rectangles using the same brush just with the black paint. I do apologize. Like I said, I thought this was recording and it was not. Now for her arms, you're gonna need a tan color mixed with some white to get that skin tone. Maybe she's dark and she's been laying out or going to the tanning bed or maybe she's real pale. You're just gonna mix a little bit of that tan color with white and get the skin tone that you want. And that's the color of her arms. And they just kind of come right out of her dress on both sides. And then he has a little bit of skin color right above his collar. There's a little bit of his neck showing just below his hairline. So that is also a skin color. Now for the hair. And again, you can make the hair color whatever you want. Um, we're gonna use the same small round brush. Um, I'm gonna do brown. And we'll start with her hair color. And it's just kind of bubbles out. You're not gonna see her neck. My helper's back. We're gonna stop at the base of, at the top of her dress. Um, because her dress is still wet. So we're gonna give it some time to dry. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of red throughout her hair. You make it like a red brown. And then his hair is also gonna be brown. So this is just the back of his head. And you can darken up your brown if you wanna make it a little bit darker, just add some black to it. And for her dress, she gets like a sash behind there. Your sash can be whatever color um, you want it to be. We're gonna do like, I guess we're gonna do kind of like a, let's see, like a 
hand sash. Again, this sash can be like the color of um, whatever color you have for her wedding. And it's just a bow. All right, let's get back to her hair. So from here, it's just gonna kind of curl. And my white is still a little wet. And then over here, my curls, and then there's like a big curl that swoops down here in the middle. So there is the hair and the sash and the groom. You rinse your round brush off and right here where their hands are supposed to be, you're gonna draw a heart. And with a paint pen or a very, very small brush, you can put their initials in the heart. You can put their date in the heart. It's completely up to you. This is just something super easy and cute to do for somebody that is getting married. You can do two hearts. So you can do this heart and then 
you can do another one up here. So this one can have their date and then this one can have their initials. There you go. So you can do it however you want to. I cannot wait to see what you guys create.